Okay, so this is one that is going to make your mind meld a little bit when you think about it uh, to get to the right answer. And uh, your understanding of bonds and interest rates is important to get to, to get to the right answer. So Fairmount Golf issued fixed rate debt. So it's a fixed rate on the debt when interest rates were 6%. That means the debt, it has an implicit interest rate of 6%. Rates have since, since risen to 7%. So rates have gone up, but they got it before the rates went up, all right? That's usually a good thing for the company, right? So using the carrying amount based on historical costs reported on the balance sheet to analyze the company's financial position would most likely cause an analyst to what? Well, if they got a great deal on a loan because the rate is lower and the rates are higher now, if you were to look at just the balance sheet and just the values on it, you would not get get the idea that, guess what? They could go and repurchase that debt and have a gain. And so the reality is, is that that debt that's actually there, while it has an amount on their balance sheet that's, you know, you, you want to account for, you're probably overestimating the, the liability when rates go up on bonds, values go down. So when interest rates go up, the price of those bonds goes down. So this is one that's paying a 6% rate and the market would demand a 7% rate. And so as a result, the bonds are being discounted right now. And so they could go repurchase the bonds. These bonds are being held on the books at a, a carrying value of 6%, but the reality is the market value of those has a 7% rate in it. And as interest rates rise with bonds, the, va the price of those bonds go down. So the actual outstanding amount on those bonds on your balance sheet is higher than it should be. It should be marked down and it should be lower. The actual debt on the balance sheet is too high because of that rate. So if you were doing an analysis on it, you'd, want, you'd realize, okay, their rate is 6%. Rates have since gone up. And because rates have gone up, they could actually, the, the value of that debt has gone down on the market. So the price on it, what they'll owe on it has gone down. So they could actually go back to the, to the markets, buy it back and experience a gain. Pretty cool, right? So the correct answer here is overestimate uh, Fairmont's economic liabilities. It most likely, A, overestimate Fairmont's economic liabilities. Underestimate economic liabilities? Nope, that's not correct because the reality is, is rates have gone up and because rates have gone up, those bonds are worth less on the market, all right? So technically they could go buy back those bonds for a lower rate that they got them for and experience a gain. Underestimate Fairmont's interest coverage ratio. It's a fixed, this is a fixed interest rate. So that's not gonna be, uh, this is a fixed rate, so that's not true. So it's A, the correct answer is A. What's up, Harry Potter?